Many of you were having doubts. Uh, I mean, a lot of doubts regarding high performance power plan, LSE and game mode from part 1. Although I replied to as many as I could, but still I'll be clearing all those doubts in this video and also tell you some more ways to optimize your PC for gaming. But before that, tell me what is this? You guys watch my videos and like them and forget to subscribe? So make sure you subscribe the channel and support it for more helpful videos in future. Okay, so first of all, I will be clearing the doubts and then show you the optimization steps because clearing doubts is very important, you know, because leave it. Many of you said that you don't have high performance option, only balanced and power save option. So I will tell you what to do. If you don't have high performance, then one of the options is go to power settings and then additional power settings. then you will see the plans that are available on your PC in my case high performance is there if in your case it is not then what you gotta do is create a power plan then just name it anything you want by default it's you can my custom plan one if you want you can just name it high performance if you like and then click next next uh, then you can just change some settings and click advanced power settings then just scroll down and set this to 100 if it's not then change it to 100 then click apply and ok so that's it your high performance plan is done and now about the game mode many of you said you don't have game mode in windows 7 and 8 so i must tell you windows 10 is having game mode only no other windows like xp vista 7 8 or 8.1 do not have game mode game mode is only for windows 10 but some of you said that you have windows 10 but you still do not have game mode then the reason might be either your windows 10 is not updated or your pc doesn't support game mode because it's quite too low end or something like that so yeah that's the reason so you can just skip that step from the previous video if game mode is not available for you some of you said it's not working some said it's a virus although it is not a virus that's why I'm using it as you can see so I must tell you that LSE does work for some games and it doesn't for some as in my case in Far Cry 4 it didn't help at all but in Crisis 3 it actually helped me a lot and you are also having the doubt that there are quite a bunch of games but still you cannot find the game you want then I can't do anything in that because this app is not created by me so I can't add any games to it but obviously you can email this guy or find his YouTube channel and tell him to add some games you like So guys if you want you can join the channel by pressing the join button below besides the subscribe button the blue colored one uh, why because if you join the channel you will become a member obviously and these are the things you are gonna get listed on your screen right now 
and yeah that's one way to support the channel so if you want to support the channel subscribe the channel and if you want you can just press the join button as well and the membership starts from a meager amount Press Windows plus R and type msconfig as you can see on your screen. Then go to boot. Select advanced options and by default the box is unchecked so make sure to check it. Then select the maximum numbers of cores. I have two cores so I will select two. Then you don't have to do anything, press OK and apply and okay that's it open your search bar and type mouse then open mouse settings Additional mouse settings, then go to pointer option, and you will see a box right here. Enhanced pointer precision by default, by default, it's unchecked, so make sure you check it. This will improve your personal game experience, like aiming in the game, all that stuff. And it actually analyzes how you use the mouse which way the mouse is going and what is the speed so it op optimizes accordingly then it's done apply ok Go and download Outbyte PC Repair from the link in the description. Once downloaded, double click and install it. Install it wherever you want to. Uh, I am installing it in the default location. After the installation, when you will open Outbyte, it will run a scan in your PC. Also, it will show what is it scanning right here. Alongside the scan, it will show you what your PC's specs are, files that can be fixed, useless files and other information including your RAM, if underclocked like mine, hard drive, security, etc. While the scan gets completed, let me tell you what does it basically do and why you need it in your PC to optimize. Outbyte basically helps you to clear off a lot of hard disk space that's being eaten up by useless and junk files. It checks hard drive, data transfer rate, your RAMs, clock speed and various other things. Then does necessary optimizations that would suit your PC. And one very important feature that got my attention is the uninstaller and the power tool section. I will tell you 
later on about it but first let me fix all the issues then i will tell you You can enjoy the free version of it for 7 days and if you like you may buy a premium version. Why? Now you see why. If you have a premium version these are the things you are gonna get. If your PC is having performance issues you can definitely try out by it. After you click fix and everything's done, you'd notice a bit of difference due to the optimizations applied by Outbite. After the scan is complete, you will find a personal virtual assistant and that is kinda cool and it can help you in many ways. How? You gotta find it yourself by using the app and optimizing your PC, talking to the assistant, asking for help and all that stuff. And now the power tool option. Outbyte has a powerful uninstaller which is better than the windows one because when you go to the control panel it doesn't show you each and every program on your PC but Outbyte does. So you can use Outbyte uninstaller to uninstall many useless apps which you might not be able to do with the windows default uninstaller. Most of you might not be knowing about this that I am going to tell you about the custom resolution. So just right click and you will see your graphic card here, graphic properties options. If you have Intel you will see something like this, if you have Nvidia you will something. You will see something else I mean. So just go to graphic options, then select custom resolution or you can just open a search bar and type your graphic card name and open the control panel. Then a little warning you will see on the screen. Just ignore it. And here you are supposed to set a new custom resolution for your PC. I have already made a custom resolution as you can see. But I will be showing you how to do it. Let me show you my current resolution. My monitor's resolution right now. That is 1366 into 768 and that is 16 ratio 9 and same is for the 1280 into 720p that you call 720p resolutions the ratio is 16 to 9 of both of them let me show you by the calculator now let's see 1280 x 
So if you divide 1280 by 720, you are gonna get 1.777777 and 8. And if you divide 16 by 9, it's gonna be the same. And you need a resolution of 16 to 9 to play a game in full screen. At times, what you guys do is, you set the resolution to 800 and to 600, that's the lowest by default, to get some high FPS. But in some games, what happens is, the game doesn't remain full screen. When you turn it into 800 and to 600, that is 4 ratio 3, what happens is, either there are black bars on the side of the screen, or on all four sides, on top, bottom, left and right, and the game is just in a very small window so to avoid this you need a custom resolution which is quite lower which ensures high fps but the ratio remains 16 to 9 so that you can play the game in full screen If you do not know your monitor is refreshed, then you can go to display settings, then display adapter properties, and then you go to monitor. Here we go. There you will see the refresh rate of your monitor. Mine is 60 Hz, as you can see. So I will write here 60 Hz. Then just click add. I'm not adding it because I already have done it as you can see. Remember these stats? If you still haven't subscribed then do subscribe the channel and make this graph go a little bit more. In the search bar type device manager or just right click and go to device manager. Select display adapters. Double click on your graphic card. I have an integrated one as you can see Intel RS graphics. I don't have a dedicated one so just double click. Driver. And update driver. Browse my computer. You can select if you have downloaded a particular file for it already if you knew about this. But I would suggest search automatically for update driver is better if you have an internet connection. Like I don't have an active internet connection right now in the PC so nothing would happen. But I would show you how it does. So click search automatically. It will take some time there's an internet connection it would be updated or the other way is if you know the name of a graphic card you can just open your web browser and type the name of the graphic card and download updates If you don't have any problems
top notch spending money on a PC game is by an SSD. It's not a big one, it's the one very easy one you should do it. If you make your PC a bit faster. And if you already have an SDD that is a hard drive, then you can disconnect an SDD with it to get a better performance. And most games what it does is increase the performance a bit and reduces the loading screen and loading time and stuff like that. Every day we escape losing all of our faith. We can't live this way. Feel me slowly fade away. Feel me slowly fade away. Go to the search bar and type fragment. Oh, I mean defragment. Just click on any drive you want to optimize, then click analyze, and then the optimize button. And you don't really need to wait for it to be completed because it will keep happening in the background if you, even if you close this window. And in the change setting option, you can just, you know, set it at a particular time interval it does this. So I have set it to weekly. You may set it daily or monthly. And yeah, this analyzing thing can take a bit long. So be patient after analyzing it will do fragmentation and something else and then they will pass one two three four so wait for pass one two I wait for seven months but then you can close it no need to do it till it closes itself automatically So, to keep your PC running in a good condition, you need to subscribe the channel for more optimization videos like this and for highly compressed games as well and some game fixes also. So, do not forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified about my latest videos so your PC keeps running good.